Hey guys, Smashkiss here, I'm AG, and... PJ. And today we're going to be doing a new series called Nintendo Now, and pretty much we're going to be doing kind of like weekly roundups of um, Nintendo news, but it's going to be pretty brief, so that's going to be great. So we're going to get started here, and PJ has the first news. So the first piece of news is that um, Amiibo support got announced for Captain Toad. So basically what happens when you put um, Toad in the uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is um, Pixel Toad will appear in a stage and uh, is just waiting to be found by uh, a player. Then we got um, a release date for Yoshi's Woolly World, which is supposed to be the June 26th of 2015, while Splatoon is supposed to be the 29th of May 2015. These are supposed to be leaked European dates, but it's most likely going to be the same for America too. Next we have Platonic um, and Rare possibly having a collaboration in the future. So basically, if you don't know who Platonic is, they're the ex-Rare developers that um, are behind Project Ukulele. And um, to keep a long story short, um, they're basically, you know, they may collaborate in the future and Platonic uh, knows what Rare is working on and they, it's not Connect, which is good. So yeah. And that's most likely going to be Battletoads, that's what people are saying. And now Nintendo's really revealing a new details about Splatoon's game modes. And these are supposed to be, uh, the, mo the main online mode is going to be Turf War, and that's pretty much just a head-to-head, four-on-four um, battle between players. Um, while the single player is going to have um, you going, exploring the underground base of the Octopi, which are pretty much the bad guys in this game. And then the multiplayer mode is going to be kind of like a ranked battle, kind of like in Super Smash Bros. Uh, where you're gonna have an actual ranking and this is gonna have like splat zones and this is some of the ways that you can play the game and it's gonna be available to everyone unlike turf war which is gonna be a little bit more exclusive next we have the netflix uh zelda tv rumors are actually inaccurate slash fake so um, what Awada says in a interview is basically this. As of now, I have nothing new to share with you in regard to the use of our IPs for any TV shows or films, but I can at least confirm that the article in question is not based on correct information. And then Sakurai said that Takamaru was going to happen as a character in the game, but then he cut him due to um, not enough people knowing him because he's mainly a Japanese exclusive character. We would have liked to see him, but anyways... Next we have uh, Famitsu um, is teasing a big announcement of a big game. So uh, people have been searching around and kind of thinking and the um, horde of people and the speculation seems to be either a Dragon Quest title or the final um, reveal of Star Fox Wii U. Then Sakurai also said uh, that the Mewtwo DLC's release is going to be happening now soon because we did get the DVDs so now Mewtwo is just coming in a few weeks. Next we have Super Mario 64 HD um, remake made in the Unity game engine is now playable. So uh, Royston Ross uh, recreated the first level of Super Mario 64. Um, so basically his goal of this was to uh, see what Unity could do and the power of it. So. And also some speculation on what this means is that both the regular and the new um, XL um, for the, both the new Nintendo 3DSs have been submitted to the FCC, which is pretty much just like the make sure that all the tech is in order, kind of. That's pretty much what these guys are submitting it for. And this is for the US, so that means the US and European dates for the smaller and um, for the small Nintendo 3DS that hasn't come out yet is going to be coming out soon, so that's pretty great. And um, Nintendo announces that E3 will just be focused on 2015 games. So um, we heard some news um, about Anuma, and he said that um, Zelda for Wii U is actually not going to be coming out in 2015 like we thought. So um, there was a representative for Nintendo that basically um, had an interview with IGN, so this is what he said. As Mr. Anuma announced, The Legend of Zelda game for Wii U is no longer targeted as a 2015 release. Rather than sticking to a specific schedule, the team wants to make this the most complete and the best game it can possibly be. The launch timing has not been yet determined, because we'd like to focus on developing the game. We aren't planning on showing it at all this year at this year's E3, where we will, we will be highlighting games launching in 2015. We'll let you know when we're ready to share more specifics. This also leads into the next news 
um, where Zelda Wii U is not going to be happening this year. Though they said that they're, they just don't want to be time constrained by the 2015 release date. It still could come out in 2015. I think by this they, they mean that maybe really late 2015, but most likely it's going to happen in 2016. Who knows, they might do a Twilight Princess kind of thing where they release it in both systems, but the NX will get like a remake kind of version where it's more HD yeah. than the last one. So anyways guys, this is kind of a roundup of everything that's happened in the week. Tell us your comments about everything that you think here. What's your speculation on this? What's your point? And what do you think? So anyways guys, Smashcast signing out. Peace. Peace.